Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Mark, president of Mazurk Manufacturing. This is the first video of our YouTube venture. Um, follow us along with a shop tour with uh, Javier from TRC. Mark, what's up, man? Hey, what's up, Javier? Nice to see you, man. You too, man. It's been, it's been quite a while. Last time the fans were here, it was probably, I don't know, four years ago, three or four years ago with uh, our RB block. Yeah, 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 so yeah, RB30. Awesome be back, man. Yeah, yeah, it's nice to see you. Got some SRs here? Yeah, man. Yeah, this is a, a 2.4 liter all motor build for a drag race guy. Sweet. Pretty nice setup. It's we're, we're doing a little more development on some of the trigger kits with that right now. This is like a typical build we do. It's a rear wheel drive S14 motor. You know, simple four to 600 horsepower build. What is this? Is that the TB, TB deal? Yeah, this is the, the TB48. We, we did a couple of billet motors for a guy in the Middle East. We have one for ourselves that we were gonna do more development on, but we kind of paused on it since COVID, Jeez. but this might be something this is a we- massive engine. What is this, like a five liter or something? Yeah, th this particular one has a, a, a BC crank in it, so it's a, it's a five liter right now. That's wild. Yeah, yeah, full billet, billet block, billet head, billet <laughs> everything. It is wild. Set of Kelford cams. I mean, just like the idea of the difference in the engine size. Yeah. Jesus. It's man. definitely a monster. That's sweet, man. All right, well, let's, uh, yeah. let's go check out the infamous engine room here. Yeah, the guys are pretty, pretty busy out there. A little, a little quieter in here. So this is where the magic happens. Yeah, yeah, this is basically our QC assembly room. Um, nice, clean, clean room, uh, climate controlled, where we do a lot of our machining prep, final assemblies, you know, quality control measurements, the temperatures, everything, especially in Florida, where yesterday it was 40 degrees and today it's, and tomorrow it's gonna be 80 degrees. So temperature fluctuates a lot. So to be able to take measurements in a, in a climate controlled area is, is critical when you're, you know, you're, you're dealing with tents. Got some billet back there? Yeah, we got, uh, some Pro Street Bill of 2Js we're, we're working on right now. It's about 80% 80 80, uh, finished already. So it's, it, we still gotta finish the, the sleeving area. Most of the features are done. Cool. More SRs. It's a, a bottom mount turbo kit that we're working on for the SR prototype. Nice. I guess block is pretty much reassembled, ready for quality control checks. It's got our billet girdle on it, billet main caps. So we'll, we'll break the motors down after all the machining, clean them and reassemble them to check the measurements one last time before we, we proceed. And we got Miguel here working on some pistons. I think he's working on what, a 2J short block? Yes. Yeah, I got some VQ 37 VHR long blocks that we've been building. Nice. Well, it looks like there's a lot more machines out there since last time. <laughs> I think you had one like back in the corner. So it's awesome to see you you growing and, and driving, man. Yeah, uh, I mean, the key is we, 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 we like to make our own products in-house, and the only way to do that is have your own machinery and have your own, you know, be able to do it yourself. And as we make more products and more and more and more, one machine's not enough. So we got to continue our capabilities and our capacity and just buy more machines and we can make more at, more at one time. journey, man. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Well, this, this is our manual area. We do a lot of engine machining. You know, you can see Michael here decking the block, line boring, honing. This is like our rod honing machine, crank balancing, cylinder head machines. This is where we do a lot of the production CNC machining. So we got the guys here making bill and caps. I got my best employee right there, <laughs> working nonstop. My man's got a robot arm. <laughs> That's awesome. We're setting the machines up right now for another production run. It looks like, yeah, bill of girdles. We just finished a batch of bell housings. We actually designed the casting. We have a casting house here in Florida to make those. And then we'll finish machine them here. Those are our SRV cube housings. This is our breakdown area, hot tank area, engine prep. So we get the motors in. This is the first place they go. We'll break them down. This is an SR we got broken down. So it'll start looking like this. And then when it's finished, it'll look like the one that we saw in the beginning of the video. And yeah, this is another twin spindle lathe with live tooling and a bar feeder. So th this machine runs 24 seven, nonstop. Right now we're just making some short shifters, parts for our short shifters. So they, this part will go from bar stock to a finished part in about 20 minutes. No way, that's awesome. Is that one being done right here? Yep. Let's see if we can see it. So this is how they start. Yeah, well, that actually, it starts off in a three-foot piece, and then we can make six pit parts out of a three-foot stick, and then we have like about a four-inch remnant that pops out when it's done when the next nice. stick comes in. And what are, what are these for? What, what, uh, it, uh, it's, it's a Z32 short shifter. We mainly make them for our, our SRVG, KAVG adapter kits. Nice. You know, we sell so many of them. You know, we like to bring all that work in-house and it's been working out pretty good for us. Awesome. 
Yeah, more five axis machinery. We do a lot of block work in here, a lot of CNC porting. Yeah, so this is an old pro, pro drag billet block that the customer had, and it looks like he, he blew the head gasket and it ended up torching down inside the cylinder. So we end up grinding it out, machining it out. Be right through it. <laughs> Not supposed to be like that. <laughs> and then we'll, we inserted a, a part in it, we'll weld it up, we'll machine it for o, uh, larger OD sleeves, and then get it back running. And get it, another it, use out of it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it'll be a good uh, secondary block. I wouldn't use it as a primary, but you know, a lot of these race teams will have you know three or four blocks, so they can cycle through them. Usually, the cars running these are making upwards of you know two thousand horsepower. Oh, two, three thousand. Yeah, these guys. Who knows what they're making? The good thing is we can make these and we can and, and we can support them and, and repair them in house. We got like a a two JS fourteen here. We didn't build the car. We built the motor and we're doing the turbo system. So once we're done with the turbo system, we'll give it back to the chassis guy and he can finish the rest of it up. We don't do many projects, but you know it's good to do one one every once in a while. Yeah. Keep the Build guys excited. Yeah, it, it's, a, it's fun. It's just hard to do it as a primary business. You know, we do more production, so the custom stuff isn't really our forte. And I see uh, I know there's an SR20 in, in this bad boy right here. Yeah, this is the the S15 Techno Toys. It's been like what mid to low sixes or something like that. Uh, we've been 620 at like 230 miles an hour. <laughs> That's wild. You guys are pumping crazy power out of this little SR, man. Yeah, we made it a little over 2,000 on the engine dyno. And that was at 80 pounds, and we, we're probably making around 2,200 at the track. Wow. Makes about 90 pounds at the track. That is nuts. Oh, look at that. Right hand drive. <laughs> yeah, you know, the S15s only came right hand drive. Yep, yep. And the owner actually lives in Trinidad, so it favors him because he drives right hand. So it worked out pretty good. It's a wild machine right here, man. 